How's it going, guys? Past level question for pathology. Step one in trauma medicine 2CK. Nine year old boy, two day history, worsening shortness of breath and giant cough, fever 101 Fahrenheit. And he had a left renal transplant performed one year ago for chronic pyelo, secondary to recalcitrant, vesicle urtel reflux, a lung biopsy is shown. So we've got some sort of pneumonia here. All right. So let's just hop to the answers. Most likely diagnosis choice A, bacteria, wrong fucking answer. Could do a 40 minute discussion of all the bacteria for. Pneumonia, right? Uh, strep pneuma, most common cause of low bar pneumonia in anyone not a neonate, obviously neonates, group B strep. Uh, bilateral pneumonia in immunocompetent patients, that's going to be mycoplasma. So as I said, lengthy discussion, uh, patients who have influenza infections, if they go on to get a bacterial pneumonia, that can be staph aureus. And then you got all sorts of weird atypicals like francisella for rabbits, coxiella for cattle, uh, you've got chlamydia satachi for birds. Long fucking discussion, wrong fucking answer. Choice B, DNA virus, correct answer, diagnosis, CMV pneumonia. So not a hard question. You got the owl eyes in this image here. It's characteristic for CMV. Now, they can write intranuclear inclusions in vignettes sometimes that they don't show you the image. They say lung biopsy shows intranuclear inclusions. That's CMV. And then they'll say which the following, if it's a 2CK question, let's say which the following is the most appropriate next best step in management. The answer is just gancyclovir therapy. They like that. All right. So CMV is a DNA virus. It's in the herpes viridae. Actually, HHV5 to be most specific. Uh, so herpes viridae, DNA virus, and you treat with gancyclovir, DNA polymerase inhibitor. Let's just hop to the others. Uh, and I should mention that uh, just there's a lot that I assume you guys already know, but CMV is the most common organism transmitted via blood transfusions and organ transplants. Now, the notion of CMV pneumonia can be confusing for students because they're like, wait, really? Pneumonia? U.S. Simile, they, lo they love CMV pneumonia, okay? And it can be an immunocompetent patient's. It doesn't have to be immunocompromised and organ transplant recipients either, uh, but obviously greater proclivity in immunocompromised. But uh, pneumonia, CMV colitis and HIV, CMV esophagitis, CMV retinitis, okay? But pneumonia, holy shit, for CMV, they like it for you assimilate. And also mononucleosis, monospot negative, and CMV mono can lead to cold agglutinins, okay? So cold auto autoimmune hemolytic anemia. Let's just hop to the other answers here. Choice C, fungus, wrong fucking answer. So you could conjecture that immunocompromised patient who, who's presumably on uh, immunosuppressants being an organ transplant uh, recipient is prone to getting pneumocystis gerovechi pneumonia. The only problem is you're not going to get these owl eyes clearly. Okay, so they could show you silver stain with cysts. You don't have to even know the stain, really. It's just if they give you a bilateral pneumonia in an immunocompromised patient, that could be pneumocystis. Wrong fucking answer. Choice D, malignancy, wrong fucking answer. Don't really know what to tell you. Just threw it in here as a distractor. Be a flagrant asshole. Okay, so um, patients who are immunocompromised, they have increased risk of malignancies, non-Hodgkin lymphomas. For example, HIV under a CD4 count of 50 to 100, primary CNS lymphoma. Okay, so immunosurveillance helps suppress malignancy. Uh, patients who have HIV as well can get squamous cell carcinoma. Wrong fucking answer. Choice the RNA virus, wrong fucking answer. So if I had to just improvise, could say that most, uh, most applicable would be RSV, bronchiolitis, most common cause of pulmonary infection in children under the age of 18 months. I'll give you a 10 month old who's had uh, bilateral wheezes, crackles, and a low grade fever. It's just RSV bronchiolitis. Wrong fucking answer. You know the deal when you make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe my channel. Appreciate your time. That's it.